In this world filled with many social injustices, political and racial tension, we as children of God need to seek the will and purpose of God for our lives and the plans that he has for us and the strategies that he has for confronting these things. We have to find a way to balance social injustice and the will of God so that our actions please him. And for this, we need to seek his word for his plan for our life. Today, even as we live our lives, which is filled sometimes with a lot of hard feelings, and we must have hard feelings because these are very difficult times, especially with all that's going on around us. And whilst we have a responsibility to help those who are oppressed by the social injustices that we see around us, we as the household of faith also have the upward responsibility to please God and represent God with our lives. And so we search scripture and find that he says, You have heard it was said that you should love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I, Jesus, say to you, love your enemies, bless those who curse you, and do good to those who hate you. Pray for those who despitefully use you and persecute you, so that you may come, become sons of your Father in heaven. When we read that, we can see that the way that we're supposed to act towards those who are not so nice to us is in the exact opposite way to how we think we should, because we think that we should return vengeance with vengeance, but God's way is to return vengeance with love. In fact, his word goes on to say, be angry and do not sin. Do not let the sun go down upon your wrath, neither give place to the devil. Oftentimes we think that, oh, yeah, let's just store this. Let's just keep this. Let's just remind these people what they've done to us. And yes, while memory is necessary so that they don't continue to keep up with that, we also have to realize that every time we hold it, it's like keeping it inside and it burns forever inside of us. How can we live in love if we don't ever let things go? The word says, let all bitterness and wrath and anger and tumult and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. And be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, even as God for Christ's sake has forgiven you. Sometimes we forget we too have been saved because we weren't always good. In fact, even now, we still have questionable behavior and we expect God to forgive us. But how can he forgive us if we are unwilling to forgive others? We have to forgive those who trespass against us as we expect to be forgiven. If we expect to be forgiven by God, we have to forgive. And so, finally, my brothers, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities and against powers and against world rulers and darkness in this age, spiritual wickedness in high places. Oftentimes we seem to forget it's not people that we're fighting, but it's the spiritual forces that guide and, and, and shape these persons' lives. Not that they get a free pass. They don't. Because if you do wrong, yes, justice needs to be served. But sometimes we forget we're not fighting people. We're fighting ideologies. We're fighting all kinds of things that govern people's lives. But we have a responsibility to act in love. So even as we close this time off, we pray, dear Father, that you will give us the wisdom and the strategies to accomplish your will here on earth. We ask that you give us the way that we are supposed to respond to persons so that your name will be glorified and that your will be accomplished. We pray for our, our, our leaders that they will always find strategies to unite us and not to, to, to separate us and cause us to be fragmented. I pray that you will keep us safe, our world leaders, our church leaders. I pray that the right words will be said so that true healing can come about amongst these people that are hurting so much. In Jesus' name we pray. Friends, 
be empowered. Seek his will. Learn from the word. Study what he has to say. Listen to what he speaks to your heart. And remember this, that we are called to be peacemakers. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. Be empowered to be a peacemaker today.